Welcome to TradeEasy tutorial. Today we will see how to manage mobile business in TradeEasy accounting software. You can add products with IMEI or serial numbers and show it on invoices and quotation. To enable this, click on utilities, then options, select page 2, then enable mobile IMEI validations. This option will be enabled to only those products whose category will be created as mobile. After enabling this option, click on OK to save the changes you have made. So let's create a product. For that, click on Product Master. On the right hand side, you can see the list of products which you have already created. So let's create a new product. Enter the product name that is Samsung Galaxy. Enter the code or model number of the product. Then enter the barcode. Next enter the product group. Then add this product group. Then enter the company name of this product. Next you have to enter the category as mobile. In order to enable automatically the IMEI number from the sale window, you have to enter the category as mobile. Then add this category. Select the base unit as number and select the product type as goods. Then select the tax percentage. You can enter the purchase price in landing cost and selling price in VAT inclusive rate. Then automatically the margin percentage and margin amount will be calculated. After entering all the details, you can save the product. Now let's enter the purchase invoice. For that click on transactions, then purchase or can directly press the short key F3. The purchase window is opened. Now enter the invoice number, invoice date and vendor name. Now select the product from the list or you can select the code from the code or barcode column. Then enter the quantity. After entering the quantity, a window will be appeared automatically to enter the serial number or IMEI number. If you want to open manually this window, you have to press F11 key. Now enter the serial number. If you enter the digits of IMEI number which is less than 15, a message will be shown which reminds you the length of IMEI number. That is, the length should be 15. So let's enter the correct IMEI number. As we have entered the quantity as 2, let's enter the second serial number. After adding the IMEI number, you can add this product. If you want to view the serial number of the entered products, you can directly press F11 or click on display serial numbers. To enter the next serial number, you can select the product and enter the IMEI number. If you enter the same IMEI number, a message will be shown that this serial number is already entered. Now again enter the correct IMEI number and add the product. Now click on save to save the purchase invoice. Now let's see the report. You can search bills with IMEI numbers and find out the customer of the product. For that click on inventory reports then serial number status. You can search via company, category or even as subcategory. Then enter the serial number and click on view. If the serial number is not available, it will show a message that this serial number does not exist. Now let's enter the serial number again. The status shown here is available. Here you can see the purchase and the invoice number, then invoice date and the vendor name. If you want to display the product details along with this, you can enable display product details and view it. Then you can see the product details right below. Now let's move on to sales. For that click on transaction then sales or directly press F4. This is the sale window. Enter the customer name then enter the product from the list or scan from the barcode column. Then enter the quantity. Now enter the IMEI number and add it. 
if you want to display the serial number directly click on display serial number or press F11 key the IMEI number will be shown here then save this bill and click on yes to print the bill this is the preview of the bill here you can see the serial number shown along with the product the customization of the bill can be done accordingly so let's check again the status of this product enter the IMEI number and view it the status shown here is unavailable which is shown in red here you can see the details of this product that when it is purchased and sold now suppose the customer is returning their product so to enter that you have to click on transaction then click on sales return the sales return window is opened now enter the sale bill number then automatically the customer name the product they have purchased will be shown here now enter the returning quantity then enter the IMEI number of this returning product and add it here also you can display the entered serial number if you are returning the amount you can select the pay mode as cash and save the sales return bill now let's check again the status of this product click on serial number status select the company and enter the IMEI number and view it the status shown here is available now which is shown in green from here you can see all the details with this product that this product is purchased sold and also returned by the customer that is sales return and finally the status shown here is available in this way you can manage your business in TradeC accounting software hope you find this video helpful for more updates and videos please subscribe our youtube channel thank you